Hey guys, what's going on? We are going to go over the attack side of house today. Um, make sure to watch the defense side as well, which I will have uh, linked below, end screen, all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll go on straight on attacking the garage first, like I went over in the defense guide. I think it's the best site if you're a, t a coordinated team. Uh, operators, I would take care of Habana, Thatcher, Thermite. Um, something with explosives or like a, a glass is always good too. Um, so any of those. Fuse is actually good here. Buck can work. So I'll show you two different ways to take this. Now. Okay. So there's two different ways you could take this. One way is the direct way, which is just if you notice that they have just like mute charges or, or mute jammers and batteries and stuff on the garage, you can uh, just throw a thatcher down and pop open the garage. Pretty easy, right? But if they're bandit tricking correctly and they have the ADS systems done correctly, you have to counter. You have to be able to counter this in some way, right? So the way that I would do it is I would throw an EMP like in this corner, which would destroy all the ADS systems. Throw a smoke and just use glass to come in here and see if you can get an angle while your teammate's trying to get the last panel. Or you could take a grenade and chuck it in there and blow up the shield and then you know shoot the bandit for sure with this is all spam by the way by the way this recycling bin so you can shoot him through there or something like that but you get the idea so open it up and then try to plant right here is generally a pretty safe plant especially if you can get like a montane or something covering it you know even better also montane can peek this corner safely so alternatively uh you can clear from top down it's not a bad idea so you get drones replaced everywhere up top. Uh, you, you know, get people to come in through these windows over here, like construction and kids. Clear out the entire top area. Um, that'll get rid of a lot of these angles for people shooting down on you from the garage. They'll come from bathroom, come from kids. Have you know, a couple people droning, a couple people following those drones. Clear down, clear the whole map. Um, you can pop the hatch over here. And, or if you want to still get the garage, that's why I said you could take Fuse. Or Buck. So this is the white car at garage. You can buck up all of this floor over here. Let's see straight down. So if there's batteries on there, you could shoot them off. You could shoot people that are back there. Or like I said, you could just be lazy about it and drop a Fuse charge right here and it'll kill everybody in the area. All of this floor over here is solid, including this office. You'll want to make sure you have all of that cleared out. And we... Uh... Open up the hatches. Over here. There's some pressure. And once you have all the control of the map, uh, push gangway over here. Open up this door. Clear everybody out the sides over here and I think the best spot if you have the time to plant is right here so you can plant at the bottom of these stairs and have somebody watching from the hatch on the top floor which is pretty strong so just watch the bomb from up here pretty nice alternatively you can plant um, you know anywhere over here anywhere in the site obviously right you can't plant over here and you can't plant in this laundry room Also, most of the time, if they have the mirrors and stuff like I showed you how to set up in the defense guide, going above and going from behind will completely render those mirrors useless. So it'll be um, a slightly better way to go about it, I think. Yeah, so that's about it for the for the lower site. A few different ways to take it, and we will head to split. All right, now we will head to split. So, okay, attacking the split site, there's definitely a few ways to do this as well. Um, it's pretty similar in taking the garage, if you want to go that route, if it's easier, or if they leave it unreinforced, even better, you can just ash charge it and walk in. So, all right. Assuming that they're leaving the garage soft or making it very easy for you to get in somehow by not bandit tricking or whatever, of course you're going to want to thermite Thatcher again. Pick this up, pick a walk in. 
Nine times out of ten, this will be battery or muted, which is which is okay. You can check in the side of laundry by spamming this wall. You can open this wall and all of this to give you a ton of angles to see in this site if they're actually giving you laundry and stuff. If they're leaving this hatch closed, it should be a pretty easy take for you just going directly in. But you are going to need some type of passive control above because every team ever will open up this hatch. So the way you can go take passive control of that is drone it out and place somebody out on these windows. This will also protect you from getting run down on from gangway. Having somebody shoot you while you're planning or flank you. So, pretty much have somebody on these windows, take the garage control, and plant. If they're giving you all of that space. Most of the time, people won't be that generous. So, alternatively, you can go from up top, where once again, we're going to clear the same way as we did for that upper clear for garage. We're going to clear everything out, drone everything down, get everything cleared. And because they were nice enough to open the hatch for us, you can check and make sure there's nobody close underneath or anything like that. Have somebody go into gangway and cut them off. And then you could plant. I would try to plant over here because all you have to do. So if you look where this is, right? Here. But uh, you can kind of get the idea, right? So the corner we were going to plant it was over here, which is like to the side of the window. But this is all through gangway. So if they're throwing C4 at you and you have somebody sitting outside here, or even better in this door over here. There's no way they can kill your teammate while he's playing. So, easy spot, get the bomb down over here. Or even better is if you can get it down over here because you can watch it from these uh, outer pool windows. Um, but pretty much, yeah, all of the floor over here and stuff like that, remember, nothing. there's no safe spot to plant unless you take from below and plant on the solid concrete. So you can be c 4 You used to be able to plant on the pool table and not get c 4 but I've heard that has changed. Don't quote me on that. You can test it out and see if that's the case. Um, but, yeah, that might have changed. Also, you have to worry about is if you don't actually have control of lower and you're just planting on the pool table, that someone could just run up the stairs and just shoot you while you're planning because you're out in the open, right? So whereas if you're over here in the corner and you know you have control of lower, they have to peek pretty wide and the person at the pool windows can help cover you better. Or what's even better is you can just have somebody at the match over here looking down the stairs. So, um, there's definitely quite a few angles too to help you take. Uh, Take this, um, take the map so that you can open up. I'm running out of ammo right now, but if you're above and you know there's somebody in pool in the corner or something like that, you can open up these spots in the wall and shoot them. Most defenders will open up this spot of the wall over here so that they can see if you're planning near the pool windows. You can also watch the lower stairs run up. I showed this, I think, in the defense video as well. But um, you can open up this wall and watch the stairs run up from over here. There's an invincible painting, but you get the idea. That should normally break. So you can see over there. Better yet, you can stand up here and get the angle down on them. While somebody's watching from the hatch about these stairs to lock the people in sight after you've planted. So after you've planted, like if you have somebody up there, and you have somebody, uh, you have somebody in kitchen, right? And you have, you have, like, over here, like, on this cabinet, looking down at the stairs. And you have somebody looking down at the hatch. If you can get bomb plant down, they're all dead. It doesn't matter if there's five people still alive. There's nowhere for them to rotate up if you can hold those positions. So, uh, just a couple different spots and stuff for you guys to try out. And we will head for upstairs. All right. We are going to go over an upstairs take. So upstairs takes are pretty awkward. One of the hardest things is uh, going to be getting out of spawn because smart team will try to spawn peek a lot on this one. Mm. 
But um, like I said, I'm going to go over this in a spawn peeking guide uh, as well. Like so how to spawn peek and how to exit spawn safely for this map. So uh, I'll put that in the description once it's up. I'm not sure exactly. I want to go over all the competitive maps first and then I'll probably head over there. Over to house and other maps. So the first thing you want to do is successfully get on the roof. Which can be kind of difficult, like I said, because they're going to be spawn peeking so much stuff. But if you know where to look for the spawn peaks and stuff, it's it's not that much of a problem. Also, if you really want to, you could put a blackbeard up here on this hot tub roof. And most people will be pretty afraid to spawn peek after that point. There's two cameras outside. One's here and one's over here. Make sure they're shot. An IQ is actually pretty good. If you know they're going to go upper, you can look for all their outside cameras. Begin shooting open all the windows. Once you're on the roof. If you want, put some claymores on these windows over here. Um, for the bathroom jump out. Clear the ADSs, blow up the wire. There's two different ways to take this. So if you're on the big window, you can go straight for a construction push if they leave this solid and just quickly plant right here. Like while a teammate's covering you or you can smoke it up and have a glass cover you. Something along, you know, on those lines, especially if they reinforce this, then that's like a free plan, basically. Now, alternatively, if you actually want to do like a real take, that's not just a fast take like that. Um, all of this floor and master and in the closet is spammable. So, everything over here up to this kitchen doorway is spammable. Well, actually passed. So, everything... Uh, everything all the way through the kitchen. I think even over here is if I remember correctly. Yep. So here's another angle too. You can actually see down the stairs from here. Which is pretty nice. So kind of nice angle is this is just for in general, I guess. You, but you can see these lower stairs. It's a good angle to watch the staircase from. But yeah, pretty much all of this floor. All this floor is spammable, right? So you can go from underneath and buck out underneath these people. Say if someone's playing in here with a mirror, you can go out and buck underneath them. If there's somebody sitting in the back corner over here, you know, you can take a grenade, cook it, and throw it at the ceiling. You know, don't kill yourself like I almost did, but you get the idea. Throw the grenade from underneath, blow it up. So, this person will take a, lot, a bunch of damage if they're sitting behind this bed or behind this bookshelf, either one. You can do the same for the closet, anywhere over here. Uh, the construction, everywhere in construction is solid, and everywhere in kids' bedroom is solid. So if you're planning, you don't have to worry about getting c 4 really. It's more about just clearing these upper floors out. So, normally nobody play actually plays in the kids' bedroom. So I like to attack construction and try to plant in here instead because you need to get pretty much need to get bathroom control and you need to get construction control, right? So you're not getting jumped out on or shot from these walls over here. So if you can get construction control, you actually don't have to get bathroom control. It's just nice to have, I guess. Um, but if you can get bathroom control and construction control, you'll be able to plant every time in this window and it's nice and safe. And post plant, you can play up if you plant in this corner right here. You can go up on the roof and just watch the bomb for when they're defusing and be able to kill them easily, or this corner. It doesn't matter. You should be able to see each of them. Especially if you have, like, a drone in there or something like that. Someone can watch that's dead. But, uh, in about a couple other spots. There was a few other spots I had. Oh, so if somebody's in this closet as well and they're hugging this mirror, you can go on the big window and just spray right here and you'll probably get a wall bang on them. And this whole bookshelf is all spammable too and can be blown up. So if you want, you could you can actually ash charge this bookshelf and it'll blow up. And then you could ash charge the wall afterwards and open up the whole closet and get the person out of here. So there's just like a couple different... So you can, like I said, you can go from underneath to, uh, to blow up the person in closet or shoot them from and buck from beneath or you can just shoot the walls and open it up like that um, the one spot that I probably wouldn't worry about as much is the master bedroom if you're going for a construction plant if you're going for a kids plant then you should clear master 
you should clear your bathroom and then you can try to jump in and plant. Um, the scary thing is, is that if they just come and peek the hall when you're jumping in any of the windows, they can kill you. But if they forget to open up the walls and stuff over here, you could just swing in and plant like over here or something, right? And then you're pretty safe. Or normally the bomb is right here. You can plant right behind the bombs a lot of times. Um, yeah, but that's just a basic attack overview of house, guys. Uh, hope this video helped you guys. Uh, it helps me always if you guys like and subscribe. Um, but if not, no big deal. Hope you guys are just getting something, something out of these guides. And I will see you in the next one.